I want to mention, uh, describe how a fuel injection system works on a car. Uh, all cars are fuel injected now. They all, in years past, used carburetor. Carburetor was a very simple device. Uh, it used aspiration. There was a bowl of fuel with tubes in it. And the tubes came up into a venturi where the air was passing across it, and it would suck a little bit of fuel out and get in the, the air stream, and you would have an air-fuel mixture. When the piston went down, it would suck this air across these uh, tubes, uh, suck in uh, the air-fuel mixture, compress it, the spark plug would fire, you'd have the power stroke, then it would push out the exhaust, suck in another uh, charge of um, a fuel-air mixture. That worked fine until we had to uh, meet strict emissions laws, fuel economy requirements, and and maintain good drivability. So we went to a fuel injection system where we have a constant pressure of fuel coming from the tank into an injector. <clears throat> and they have two kinds. You can inject it into the cylinder or into the throttle body. Most things use a throttle body injection system. It's simpler, uses less injectors. Uh, so we put a pump in the, in the fuel tank. It runs constantly. It runs up through a pressure regulator, gives you a constant pressure source of fuel, and what fuel it does not use, it runs back into the tank. What's in the tank is interesting, but kind of complicated, and I won't explain it. The, uh, the electronics is what supplies the fuel. It gives it a pulse, a pulse width on the fuel injector. A long pulse width gives a lot of fuel, a short pulse width gives a little bit of fuel. How does the system know how much fuel to give it? It measures the air going into the system, and the way it does that, they use a MAP sensor, uh, MAP, uh, Manifold Absolute Pressure. It senses how much pressure is in the manifold. It's usually below atmospheric because the engine is sucking air in. If, uh, if the map pressure is very high, that means your throttle blade is not letting much air in, so the engine is sucking a large vacuum in there. The system measures that high vacuum, knows it just has to put a little bit of fuel in, and it does. The minute you open the throttle, you dump air into the manifold, that, atmosphere, that uh, map pressure goes up. The electronics sense that, it dumps fuel in, and off you go. And that's how it is. And they have sensors to measure the throttle blade position and uh, a lot of safety features to make sure um, nothing, nothing wrong goes on, uh, such that if you have an accident and there's a fuel leak, the system senses that and shuts off the pump. Uh, 